So the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney saga continues. We've all been waiting on a final decision on how this is going to play out. Is Ryan Garcia going to get a fine? Is he going to get suspended? How severe of a punishment is Ryan Garcia going to face for testing positive for Ostering? And it is finally here. Ryan Garcia's team and the New York State Athletic Commission have come to an agreement. But before they even announced it, it was clear that Ryan Garcia was going to be facing some punishment that he did not like because he immediately started posting out there saying that he's retired, saying that he was serious about going to the UFC and he is now a UFC fighter. Of course, you already know Ryan Garcia's social media is like wildfire. Once he gets going, he cannot stop. I would say the only real good thing out of this from Ryan Garcia is that they did prove that it was a tainted supplement because Ryan Garcia apparently underwent a lot of random drug testing. So probably with the amount of traces that were in his system, they were able to detect that a very, very minute amount of it went into his system. So therefore it was probably most likely due to a tainted supplement rather than him actually injecting some crazy shit into his body to give him superpowers. But regardless, this is what we were waiting for because he tested positive, there had to be some type of punishment. And that is Ryan Garcia will be suspended for a year and he will have to pay Golden Boy, which I find it very, very odd. He has to pay Golden Boy $1.1 million. And I'm just like, why is he paying his own promotional company $1.1 million? That money should be going to Devin Haney. I don't know why the people that sat on their ass and watched the fight are the ones that get paid. Whereas the fighter who actually took the damage, took those punches, he's getting, well, Devin Haney is getting some money. He's getting a percentage of it. But shit, that $1.1 million should be going straight towards Devin Haney's bank account. And now that I think about it, if you add it on to the $1.5 million that Ryan Garcia missed out on for missing weight, my God, $2.6 million total. Look, I don't care if Ryan Garcia made $30 million from this fight. Losing 2.6 million is tough. But like I said, I don't know why the hell he has to pay 1.1 to Golden Boy. It doesn't really make any sense to me how the hell Oscar De La Hoya can make money off of his own fighter testing positive for a drug test. That's wild to me. And a lot of people out there are either celebrating the decision or are absolutely hating it because you can see as Devin Haney's Instagram right here, he deleted all of his posts besides two. There was three, but I'll talk about the third one because I saw it before he deleted it. But you can see here, this is just a video that you know, highlights that he's still undefeated, 31 and 0. And this is just a video of him dancing, celebrating that he's still undefeated. And then there was a video before that, that he posted. It was just a screen grab of him changing his Instagram bio, which as you can see here, 31 and 0, because another one of the punishments that Ryan Garcia must face is that the fight was turned over into a no contest. Devin Haney seems very, very pleased with the situation. He tweets out, no BS though. I'm happy it wasn't a DQ because I wouldn't want to win like that. Once the suspension is over, Ryan Garcia, let's run it back. Clean on an even playing field, biggest fight in boxing. So it looks like Devin is dead set on the rematch. That is the only fight he wants. He's willing to sit out a whole year and wait for Ryan Garcia's suspension to be lifted. And you can tell this whole situation has changed his mindset because he also tweeted out saying, I'll be back in one year. I had all the belts already. From now on, I'm fighting on whatever weight I choose. No longer fighting in weight classes. So what that tells me is Devin Haney really thinks that Ryan Garcia got a big advantage coming in overweight by those three pounds. Therefore, he's most likely going to fight Ryan in a rematch at a catch weight knowing that Ryan Garcia isn't going to make 140 and will most likely miss weight yet again. And Ryan Garcia, of course, responds. He says that he is willing to run it back with Devin Haney after his suspension is lifted. But man, y'all need to go look at Ryan Garcia's Twitter. This dude is going absolutely crazy. He's calling shots at everybody. He called out Drake. He is tweeting absolutely insane on Twitter. I can't even go over everything. It's just so much. Someone just needs to take this guy's phone away and tell him to relax. I'm glad they finally reached a conclusion on everything and it seems pretty fair to me kind of knew the no contest was coming the only thing i'm not sure about at all is that 1.1 million going to golden boy but feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know if you think this was a fair judgment and if not what would you have done different and also let me know how you think a second fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia goes down in a year's time as always i thank you all so much for the support and i'll catch you in the next video